The United States was favored. They had 12 of the top 25 players in the world. Now, saying that, Europe wasn't exactly chopped liver. All 12 of their players were ranked in the top 45 in the world. The Ryder Cup Task Force was formed in 2014 after the United States had lost six of seven Ryder Cups. That blueprint seemed to work in 2015 at the President's Cup, 2016 at the Ryder Cup, 2017 at the President's Cup. Why change it? The players bought into it. The players believe they have currency now in the decision making and in the process of putting together the team. If they like it, why change it? Sometimes there's just no answers why the United States have lost six straight overseas. You put together two teams in an atmosphere like that, one's got to win, one's got to lose. I wouldn't change a thing if I'm the Americans going forward. I've racked my brain. I can't think of one thing that you could do differently to ensure yourself that you're going to win on foreign soil. Well, the Europeans have a lot of young talent, just as the United States does, uh, and they have Rory McIlroy. Um, Rory McIlroy is the epitome of a leader. What they should be wary about, because in 2020, I would imagine that the United States will have control of the golf course. But still, I don't think they have to be worried about anything. I don't think the United States has to be worried about anything. They know coming in 2020, two talented teams are going to get together, play in the most intense pressure there is in golf. One team's going to win, one team's going to lose. Who's going to putt better that week in 2020? The Europeans certainly putted better this week. And that was the biggest difference. Um, it, it just